All right, in this video, I'm gonna walk through the modeling steps in the CSWA practice problem number five. This is the assembly problem. Uh, I'm gonna break this tutorial down into two videos. The first video is how to model each one of the part files that are gonna build the assembly, and the second video will be how to actually construct the assembly. Uh, so I'm gonna begin by starting out with the lower base part. So file, new, part, okay? So again, when you're working with a CSWA problem, the first step you should do is check your unit system. I wanna be in inch pound second, and I want my material to be AISI 1020, which can be found right here. Apply, close. Um, notice the assembly origin matters, but the part origins, not necessarily. So. And start off by saying front plane sketch sketch and I am going to draw a single or three single lines uh, representing the bottom of my of my part so this width is going to be 2.7 there's a trick to this that I'm going to do and the height of this is a half inch and I'm going to say this one equals this one to make sure those are the same and I'm going to put the origin at the midpoint of that. Now I have a fully defined sketch and I'm going to go features extrude boss space and I'm going to go midplane. The total distance I want to extrude is six and I want you to notice that I'm doing a thin extrude. The thickness of this extrude should be 50 thou because if you do the math there that's how um, that'll make the inside of my block. Oh, this is going the wrong direction. So let's flip that around. There you go. So now the inside is 2.5. The outside is 2.7. Sorry, inside is 2.6. Outside is 2.7. Um, that's how you want that to be. So I'm going to click check. And let's just measure that just to be sure. If you go to evaluate, measure, click those two surface, 2.6. That agrees with uh, what what we want. Now I can go features, fillet. The edges have a fillet of a quarter inch, so I could type in 0.25, and I'm just gonna come in here and click that edge, click that edge, click that edge, and click that edge, hit the check. And now I'm going to select that surface, sketch, sketch. I'm going to draw two circles. This is going to be a diameter of 0.25. I'm going to make this circle the same size as that circle, so let's make them equal. I'm also going to draw a center line between the center points of these circles. Um, now I can dimension that to the bottom there. Sorry, did that wrong. Needs to be dimensioned from the top of 0.250. And each hole is also 0.25 from the edge. So from there to there, 0.250. And from here to there, 0.250. Now I can go features, extrude, cut, make this go through all. And now I could do a file save as. I'm trying to see if I missed anything. Ah, look at that, I did. I miss, there should be a fillet on the inside. So fillet uh, 0 0.025, and this goes right there and right there. Hit the check. Now I'm done. Now I can do a file, save as, uh, put this wherever you're working from, and I'm gonna call this uh, lower base, save. Um, so now I'm going to transition straight into the upper base because, interestingly enough, the upper base is very similar to the lower base. So if I s do a save as and call this upper base, and then I can strategically edit my original sketch here, and instead of 2.7, I can make this 2.5, hit the check, and now this part is completely done. My upper base is finished. Press save. Good. Now my lower base and my upper base are done. 
Now I'm going to say new part. Let's change my units to, units to inch pound second. Material to AISI 1020. Click apply. Um, now I'm going to create the link. So I'm going to create top plane, sketch, sketch. Under, um, look at that, straight slot. I can create this, sketch, and that gives me the rough shape of my link. Make those coincident. Now I could start putting dimensions on this. So this dimension would be six. The overall height of this thing is half inch. At either end of the link, I have a hole. So let's put our two holes in there. These are equal, so we can select both of those, make those equal, put a single dimension on these things, 0.25. So there is my link. Now I can just do features, extrude boss base. This extrusion should be 0.1, so that is, let's go mid-plane on that just for the heck of it. 0.1, hit the check. File, save as. Link. Okay, so our link is done. Um, now I'm gonna create the long pin. Change my mind, I'm gonna do the short pin. So for the short pin, file sketch, um, let's exit this, I forgot to make sure my units are inch pound second and my material is AISI 1020. Every component you have to do this for. Now I'm going to select my right plane sketch, and I'm going to draw a center line because this part is going to be set up as a revolve. So then I'm going to draw a rectangle, putting uh, the bottom portion of that rectangle midpoint to my origin. And I'm going to draw a line up. I'm going to draw a nice arc down to there, and I'm going to trim that. Trim that, I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Make a nice arc. Now, pull that over to there. And if I put a dimension on these, this dimension should be 0.225 radii. This one and this one should be equal. So notice how this says 0.23, but when I double click it, it says 0.225, so it's rounding that for me. If I click this line and my center line, remember if I drag it below, it doubles, it's because I want that diameter to be 0.250. Um, the distance between these two pins, again, this is the short pin, is 2.7. Okay, so now this isn't, this is still moving, it's not fully defined. Do you guys see that? So what I want to do is I want to say from, it's like I lost my, my center line there. If I can, if I click this center point and I make that coincident with this line, that's gonna help that, bring that up so at this point, that line is coincident. Now everything is black, fully defined. We're happy there's my center line there. Now I'm ready to go features, revolve boss base. Click save. This is again my short pin. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a file, save as, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my long pin, long pin pin. Click OK. Now I can open up this single sketch to change this one dimension from 2.7 to 2.9. Updates, click the check, save, and long pin is now done. Now the second to last piece I gotta do is the pivot. So I'm gonna do a file, save as, pivot, press save, and I want this to stay exactly the same. The only thing I wanna do now is I wanna add this square feature. So if I draw my square, 
I'm going to use my um, diagonal line from corner to corner, uh, making that midpoint with my origin. Now I can put dimensions on this square, which is one. I can say that this side equals this side. And I can do a features extrude boss base by the midplane, a total distance of one. Hit the check. Now I can select that surface, sketch, sketch, and I can put a hole through the middle of that. So dimension on that, that is a diameter 0.375. Features, extrude cut, through all, hit the check. And the last step is to add a chamfer. My chamfer dimension is 0 0.050. Both sides, check. And we're done. Save. OK, the last part to create here is the, um, I think it's called the rod. Let's see, the shaft. So file, save as. Yes, called the shaft. Shaft. Um, and so my shaft is not going to be really based on any of these things. So I'm just going to delete everything. But by starting from a part, I have the material already loaded correctly, ASI 1020, and my unit system. So now I'm going to click a plane, sketch and sketch. I'm going to create a center line because this is going to be a revolved part. And I'm going to draw my, my rough shape of my shaft here. I accidentally added a midpoint constraint. I don't want that. So there's my single closed shape. Now I can start adding dimensions. So that dimension is 0.375. This line, or this line, and this line are collinear. And let's make this diameter 0 0.550. The total distance A is 20.5. Wow. Okay. Total distance B. is 6.5. Okay, so you notice that I'm still, I still got some blue lines here though. So the, I wanna click this in the midpoint and make that, make my bottom line the midpoint of my origin. Then if I draw from my origin up to the midpoint of this line and make this line for vertical, now everything's black, everything's symmetrical, everything's looking good. I'm ready to do my features, revolve boss base. That's my axis of revolution. Hit the check. There is my shaft. Okay, in the next video, I'll start to show how we do the assembly model for this problem. See you then.